Hey everybody, this is Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. It's early in the morning so you may see my footprints out in the grass, but today I'm going after two tough summer weeds and I'm going to try a product to see how well it controls. We're going to spray the weeds and we're going to check on it to see how well it controls both crabgrass and nut sedge. Two weeds that if you have in the summer are very difficult to get rid of or at least to suppress. So, uh, today's video is sponsored by my friends at Solo and they have provided the backpack sprayer we're going to be using. So I'm going to show you the backpack sprayer. We're going to talk about the product we're using. We're going to show you weeds. We're going to spray the weeds and then we're going to check on the results. So let's get started right now. So here's our Solo backpack sprayer we're going to be using today and I've already got the product mixed into it and we'll tell you that in a little bit. But um, you got different tips that come on the sprayer and I've put one to give us a, a nice wide spray. I'm not trying to shoot a real direct stream i'm trying to get good coverage on the weed one of the things i like about this sprayer is this handle has like a swivel feature so sometimes i've used sprayers and the handle will, you'll, you'll get it right here and it'll be pointed straight up and you got to pick your shoulder up to try to get it over where this one just kind of swivels around in place and now you're ready to pump the other thing you want to look for in a sprayer and I think this one does a good job, but how long will it maintain pressure? You know, are you having to pump it constantly or will it hold good pressure? It's got the padded shoulder straps and, and the four gallon capacity, you know, one of the things about that for some people, they don't like filling it up to four gallons, but if you have the four gallon capacity, you can use it if you want to, or if you just want to put three gallons in it to make it a little lighter, you know, the water weight obviously is going to add to the weight on your shoulder. So sometimes it may make sense just to put three gallons if you don't like carrying the four gallons, but it's nice to have that capacity in case you need it. So when you're using herbicides, obviously you wanna wear your PPE. I've got rubber boots, rubber gloves, I've got glasses on. So I'm gonna show you the weeds we're gonna spray and uh, then we'll spray them and we're gonna see how well this works. First weed we're gonna spray is nutsedge. And this, I think in particular, is purple nutsedge. Yellow usually has a little bit lighter colored leaf and grows a little more vertical the purple grows a little bit more horizontally and i went ahead and put a marking flag in the ground so i can come back and find the weeds we sprayed now there's plenty of nuts edge in this area so we'll be able to compare what's been sprayed with what has not been sprayed secondly we've got crabgrass now your crabgrass you want to typically prevent with your pre-emergent early in the year i'm in alabama and we'll typically put down our pre-emergent in january or february and we use a product called prodiamine and it does a great job on preventing crabgrass but you may have some crabgrass in your yard like this and this is a Bermuda lawn and so today we're gonna use a post emergent product solitaire and see if we can knock out this crabgrass now we'll say it's difficult to control in the summer so it may uh, suppress the growth it may not knock it out completely it may take multiple applications to totally kill it um, but we're just going to try it and see how well it works again the best practice with crabgrass is to prevent it with a pre-emergent but I want to see how well solitaire works in the middle of the summer, which is probably the most difficult time of the year to kill this crabgrass. Again, I've used a, a marking flag so I can differentiate between the crabgrass I sprayed and the crabgrass that has not been sprayed. Here's the Bermuda grass. I have plenty of rain, hotter, it's looking good. Uh, and we want to see if we can get rid of these few weeds to make it look even better. Whenever you apply herbicide, make sure you follow the label. I've already got it mixed up according to the label rate and I've added some surfactant. What that does, is the fact it helps the herbicide stick to the plant so that the plant takes in the herbicide and it's more effective. Let's get started spraying. You'll notice I just spray the weeds until they're wet. I'm not trying to drown the weeds. And if it's the middle of the summer, there is some risk of damaging the turf if uh, the temperatures are very hot. So in this situation, I'm out here early in the morning when the temperatures are not so hot. So you may want to do that early in the morning or in the evening if you're dealing with really hot summer temperatures. We'll come back and check on results, see how well it's worked. Thanks. I also use the Solo chest mounted uh, spreader. That's something I've been using in my own business for several years. It's great. And then this sprayer here, if you want a link to it to check it out, I'll put a link in the description of the video so you can go uh, check out this four gallon backpack sprayer. 
All right, it's been about four days since the initial application. Let's take a look and see how the nut sedge looks as well as the crabgrass after applying solitaire. Sometimes I want to restrain you from thinking that this is a race, okay, that it's like the fastest product wins. So we're not going to make our final observation after four days, but it is worth noting if you look at all this nut sedge here that has not been treated, and you see it's actively growing and, and green, and you look at what has been treated, it's still um, tall. I think that's somewhat because the grass has not been cut, but you can, you can definitely see some discoloration. And if it was mowed, I would uh, venture to bet that a lot of it would be growing back very slowly and may even halt its growth for quite a while. And that's what really you're going for with nut sedge, the very difficult weed to control. But if you can suppress it where it's not noticeable in the lawn, that's what you're going for. The other thing I want to notice is there is maybe a slight discoloration. Let me hold the camera back a little bit. You can see maybe it's a little darker green over here than it is here, but it's uh, really not very noticeable to be honest with you. And I think we can live with, a, with that slight bit of discoloration if we get good control on the weeds. Now, this is the one I'm even more excited about because crabgrass, while yes, we want to hopefully prevent it with a pre-emergent and knock it out before you ever even see it in your lawn. But if you have it in the lawn in the summer, it is a difficult weed control. And yes, we did spray this four days ago and look at it four days later. I mean, look at that. Really good results. Very minimal discoloration to the Bermuda. But if you could go in and knock out your crabgrass and make it look like that, then the Bermuda is going to fill in. If you've got a lot of crabgrass, then it's going to be very difficult for the, the Bermuda grass to compete, or whatever turf grass you got, to compete with the crabgrass because the crabgrass is taking up space. Now that the crabgrass is dead, the, the Bermuda can fill that in. But just after four days, uh, Solitaire really did a great job. And just what's worth mentioning, look at this a little bit of nut sedge right here, right beside it. It's also discolored it. So maybe I sprayed it a little bit heavier here and that's why we got such great results. But that is really uh, impressive results after four days. Now there's other crabgrass products. We use ones that have active ingredient quinclorac when it comes to spot treating weeds. Now there are other crabgrass control products and we only use this again when we're spot treating in the summertime. It's a, a not a very inexpensive product, not one you're going to want to blanket your whole yard with. But for spot treating, I want the best product I can use to go knock out that crabgrass and I think that's what we got in this situation. So we're going to continue the video, check back on the nut sage, see what it looks like. Uh, after waiting a few more days and uh, then we'll wrap up the video and draw some conclusions. All right, so I want to show you the final results on the crabgrass and on the nut sedge and then talk to you about the active ingredients in the in solitaire, which is a product we use and some of the other weeds that you could use this product on. So again, absolutely fantastic results on the crabgrass. I mean, it's even a little bit hard to see where the crabgrass was because we had a little bit of time. Now, it is worth noting that there was some slight discoloration to our Bermuda grass here, and uh, that will turn green again soon, so I'm not overly concerned about that, but you may want to spray just a little bit lighter if you're concerned about that, or even test it in the area, and make sure to follow the label and uh, wear your PPE when you do these applications. Now, the nut sedge, we, we can see still a little bit of slight discoloration, and this was probably um, not a great matchup for the solitaire. Solitaire has two active ingredients in it. One is quinclorac, and that is the one that's great on crabgrass as a post merger. The other is sulfitrazone. Sulfitrazone is a sedge product per se, um, but nut sedge, purple nut sedge, is, is probably its weakest category. Now, when I mow this with a lawnmower, I do think it will um, be slow to come back because of the damage done to the plant. You can, you can see the discoloration on the plant. So it has had some effect in this, but the sulfitrazone zone, honestly, uh, is gonna work better on yellow nut sedge and on Kalinga, which are, are also sedges. Uh, and, and whatever reason, that, that particular product works better on those when you have sulfitrazone, zone, which is also found in products like uh, Dismiss and Blindside and things like that. But, you know, real excited. And then what our main goal was, was to knock out the crabgrass and it has done an excellent job and matter of fact done it very very quickly i really appreciate you watching the video appreciate solo sponsoring the video again go check out the link below if you want to check out the sprayer that i was using in this particular video 
And there's over 600 videos on the channel, so you can go check those out as well by simply clicking on my channel name or just subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with any future videos that I create. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.